Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slang Hope. And today I come to talk to you about crip politics in jail slash prison. Now somebody asked me in the comments to kind of like do this. So that's why I'm doing it. So, you know, let's get to it. So, as y'all know, a lot of y'all know because y'all watch videos about jail, politics, prison, and stuff like that. And y'all might hear it numerous of times from other YouTubers and people who, you know, be giving y'all the, the scoop of what goes on in jail. So, y'all already know that Crips make, like, less than the Bloods. They're outnumbered and stuff like that. So, I want to get into kind of, like, where do they live so, when I came around to Rikers Island, they started separating the the Crips and the Bloods. So, usually when you come in, they will ask you, they, they will ask you, like, are you banging? And, you know, you tell them, like, yeah. You know, some people, you're not supposed to say yeah, because technically, that's the easy way out. Like, if, if you tell them, yeah, I'm banging, they're not going to put you in a blood house. Like, they will put you somewhere else. So, usually... Like, the homeboys, they don't want you to tell the police you crip because then, like, you had the easy way out. They just brought you in here. You understand what I'm saying? So, what they would really want you to do is, like, yeah, you got to bang out. You got to be like, no, like, I'm not, I'm not crip. And then they're going to put you most likely in a blood house or in a house that got bloods because they're the majority of the people in Rikers Island. So, you're not supposed to tell them you're banging, but they, they ask everybody when, they, when you first come in there, they will ask you if you're banging. So, but that's how... You know, they expected you to not tell the police, the COs, that you're banging. So, there's there's different houses. I don't, And some buildings might not have a place where to put crypts. They do not isolate them. But they created, like, these separate housings, you know, because the police don't really want to do a lot of work in there. They just want to babysit without no problems. They don't want to worry about no cut-ins. They don't want to worry about, like, any issues that can possibly get them hurt. So they be trying to avoid writing paperwork and injury reports and all of that. So, you know, they started separating Crips and Bloods. Like, you know, it's just obvious there's something going on. So, but I also say, like, Crips are our number in the street, too. So I never really, like, got why some people get, like, really scared to rep they, they shit when they get to jail, you know, because it's like, in the street, it's the same thing. Like, you outnumber in the street, but the only difference is, like, in the street, if you know this block is blood, like, I don't got to go down that block. If you know this neighborhood is crip, like, I don't got to go to that neighborhood. But in jail is, you you always walking down the same corridor. You always go into the same mess hall. If you, you know, if you go into the mess hall, you always go into the same school floor. You always go into the same places. So it's like, it's easy to catch you slipping. You know, it's like when somebody knows where you live or somebody knows your whereabouts, where's your school, where's your job. It's easy to catch you slipping. So it's kind of like the same thing. If I know you got to walk past this corridor, if I know you got to, you know, you got to walk this way to the visit floor, like it's easy to catch somebody. And that's why, like, I think this is why people don't bang or or, or they'll deny it or they, you know, whatever they'll do, because it's like it's a setup. <laughs> Literally, it's a setup. <laughs> so, yeah, they separate them. They live in different houses and, you know. On Rikers Island, it's like what like my experience was like you know I was I was in I was in the Beacon and in the Beacon you know they had the annex, so it was like about six houses and it was none of this like PC stuff like some people say this PC stuff or you know like they don't fraternize or they don't mingle but it, it really wasn't like that like we we got to walk the corridors there used to be other they they used to be movement going on in the corridors when we went to the corridors. We went to medication, visit floor, school, like all of that. Like, and mind you, like, you know, you're on the school floor mix. So it's like, you know, so it's like not how some people make it. But I don't know if different buildings might be different. But so that's the one of the things. So, you know, you, you they get a house, they get their own house. And you're not supposed to tell the, the officers, like, you know, that you're banging. And then in the house, basically, it's just, you know, somebody has the house or somebody, you know, it's different people, different ranks and stuff like that, but, you know, you only really get to, like, interact, like, you only really get to put in work, like, when you go to court, when you might leave the house, the housing unit, sometimes they might bring bloods to the crib house, and I don't know if the bloods gotta do the same thing, 
but I'm pretty sure like you're not supposed to tell them you you whatever gang so they'll put you in the house like you just gotta you you get to the house however you get to the house you you, you gotta bang out so, you know that's how you get your brownie points that's how you get your respect so upstate is a little different like because on Rikers it's like you can you you, you have a house upstate like the, them COs is not separating y'all based on on like you know your gang or your you know what i'm saying they're not they, they don't care like you know what i'm saying they don't care like most of the seals upstate they're like white caucasian a lot of them are racist so they don't really care if y'all cut each other you just better not cut a co or you better not like try to talk to like the women ceos up there or you better not try to talk to like the women staff like uh, like teachers and stuff like that that's all they care about they care about like we don't care what violence y'all do amongst each other just don't hurt our staff and don't be trying to talk to our women that's like clearly what they what they what they say up there when you first get up there you know they they remind you they be like them, them these women you better not look at them you know so that's the type of time they be on so upstate is a little different it's more space they're not separating you they don't really care about none of that so when you well, one thing i really never really understood is like some people will be banging on rikers island because it's you know you, you get your own house you get separated you only really get to see people when you go to court and stuff like that so score or visit floor so you don't really get to fraternize like that and they don't bring you to the yard with with the blood houses like if you're in a crib house they don't mix they're not gonna mix them with the blood houses so you know you get to like pretty much kind of like chill you know like you still have to bang out like if you go to the visit floor if you go to certain places out the house but for the most part it's like you know you don't gotta worry about that in the house or you know that, that alleviates a lot of pressure so but when you get upstate it's different so you might you you you're in the house you don't know and it's dorms it's dorms or cells so it's usually a lot of beds if you're in the dorms and the medium and then there's usually cells if you're in a max so you will be like double bunk you know so and that's when it becomes it becomes a little more dangerous sometimes in the max you know a lot of times so but for the most part it's like i don't get it like some people will be banging on the island and you know people know you because this is what they do you gotta understand, people was watching, they seen you throwing it up, you 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 going to court, you've been going to court for two years back and forth. So people see you, you know, they might hear your name if you putting in work, if you cutting people, if you're doing whatever you're doing. And then people will get upstate and then they will just like they act they will act like they didn't just sit up on the island for this long. And they will get upstate and they'll stop claiming crip or they'll stop jacking it. Or like, you know, you hear some stories, sometimes people turn Muslim. And so I just feel like Again, like, I don't know why people turn Muslim. I don't know if because they specifically scared. I mentioned that in my other video. But this does happen. I do meet, I did meet a lot of folks that was Crip, um, predominantly, that were Muslim. Does that mean that a whole bunch of them, like, I don't know what's the percentage. But there is also some Crips that keep it official. Like, you know, like, they, 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 <laughs> they official all the way. And the thing is, when you Cripping in jail like the people gonna hear your name that's one thing people gonna hear your name like and a lot of people come home from prison a lot of crips come home from prison and they they wasn't banging they wasn't doing nothing but they will come home like nothing happened they'll come home like they they did they, they shit like but people like crips that are repping they like know who's repping because you hear certain people's names you hear what certain people doing. They'll be like, yo, you heard what such and such did over there? Like, yo, he was... Because it's, it's it's not like really like a big phenomenon of, of like a lot of people claiming they crip shit, you know? So, you know, you hear the people, people stick out like sore thumbs, you know? So, yeah, so when you get upstate, it's a different ball game. Um, Another thing that happens, right, with crips, it's like a lot of times the bloods be like on some on some cool like they be like oh it's all right it's cool we respect it or whatever the case might be they always rock you to sleep like it's rare that you see like a blood like bloods like like on some head on like you know keep it funky and like you just get you out of there like a lot of times it's it's, it, it, it's a group thing a lot of times it's like they don't really have the courage I'm not saying that there's not no official homies that they don't care they don't need the group they don't need the team like they they just get it on they do whatever they do but a lot of times they act like you, you you good, you know what I'm saying? You don't got nothing to worry about. And then like they will sneak you. They they will cut you when you least expect it, they'll stab you or just jump you. You know, so it's like 
a lot of this happened a lot like you, you don't even know like it happens constantly so i feel like that's maybe one of the reasons why like you know chris be moving a certain way like because it, it's like and then they try to say that people or like crips live in a box like it's like oh or they go to the box for protection like that don't even i mean upstate yeah there's no pc so when you go to prison you could tell the guards you don't feel safe in population or whatever the case might be and the only place they might take you to is the box so they might do that but oftentimes there's really no pc when you go to prison like there's pc on rikers island but there's no PC, like, when you go upstate, like, and PC might be the box. Like, if you tell them, like, you really feel like I can't live here, I'm not safe, they might just put you in the box, like, whatever. But other than that, like, it's not, like, a, a certain house. I don't know if that has changed, but I know that's how it was. Like, it was no PC. So, that's one thing, if you can't live. And then there's another thing, because Crips usually got a, they got it bad. So, they usually, what they usually do is just make it hot. Like, when they when they get to a spot, when they get to a jail, when they get to a house, wherever they get, they just make it hot. They just, they just think everybody blood, and they, they just make it hot, you know? So, so people be looking at this like, oh, like, you did some sucker stuff, like, or you went to the box, or you live in the box. But it's like, think about it. If you know you outnumbered, you might as well just go in. You might as well just go ahead, do what you got to do. And that's how some Crips move. Some Crips do all their time in the box. Like, they just be like, I already know. So, it's not fair because sometimes some, some some bloods will be saying like, oh, they live in a box or, or they doing this or they doing that or they scared. Or, but it is like, yo, bro, if, if, if you're going to tell me I'm good and then like try to sneak me, like, what is that? I'm saying that's not even like no stand up shit. Like, you telling me I'm good and then I'm, you know, I might be walking around, like I might be chilling, thinking it's gravy and then you, you do something to me, you know, like, it's like, come on, like, but we don't talk about that. We don't be talking about those stuff. We don't be talking about the little sneaky tactics. We don't be talking about like, that's not even like, that's not even like, like, that's not even like head on. Like, you know, that's not even like no man shit. Like, no, not coming out nobody, but I'm just saying like, I just feel like that's not no stand up stuff. And again, there's no rules in the street, right? There's no rules to this. So, but this is just the stuff that they be up against, like. Somebody might be cooking with you, eating with you, and the whole time they trying to set you up, they know you, you crip, or they don't heard you crip. So, it's crazy. Like, even when I was there, sometimes it's people that you meet, that you know from the town. Like, I remember I was in adults, right? And I was in the house with this dude that was from, from the hood, from, from, from where I was from, uptown. So, you know, there was a dude that I met, and I was talking to him. So, he was like, he asked me, like, yo, what they call you in the town? Like, so I told him what they called me in town. I already knew he was going to call somebody and ask somebody. Like, I already knew where this was going. So I knew he was going to call somebody and he was going to ask him, yo, you know, such and such. So when he got off the phone, he told the blood dudes, yo, he told them that I was crip. So, so you know, the blood dudes kind of like approached me. But I don't want to go into the story because I, I this is another story time. So, you know, they, they try to they try to fake some blood fake try to press me after that, and then it was about like I kept it real. But anyway, I don't want to get into that story. But yeah, people that would know you from the town, they would do little sneaky stuff like that. They would they would tell the bloods you you crip or you used to be crip or whatever. Like they just people love to see shit like, and they tell you don't got like that situation right there. Like if I really felt some type of way that for that situation right there was Sunday, like people would get cut for that, or people would get smoked for that because it's like you spreading stuff because you want to see something. And, and you got a lot of people like that in jail. They'll throw rocks and they'll hide their hand because they want to see something. They want to see commotion. They want to see the negativity. They want to see somebody get cut. They want to see somebody get jumped. They want to see somebody get spanked. Like, jail is boring and people like watching entertainment. Nobody like to be locked in their cell after the fight, right? But they would like to watch a fight. They would like to, like, see some, you know, but this is just certain stuff that happens. So, and then a lot of people, the funny thing is because there's so much blood in jail, nobody want to be, like, fake associated with the Crips at all. Like, people be scared. Like, I'm not even going to front. Like, people, it's only a few people that keep it official and be like, nah, that's my man, or whatever the case might be. And they going to, like, you know what I'm saying, hold them down however they can. But for the most part, nobody want to be seen, like, fraternizing with a Crip. Nobody want to be seen. Like, they really, people really be scared. Like, you know, like, this is, like, the, the influence that the, the homies have in jail. You know, they know, they, they deep, they everywhere. Like, you walk down the hall, it be like, yo, 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 it's popping scrap. Hey, yo, hey, yo, B to the L to the R. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you, you, you see it all day long. You hear it all day long. So, 
a lot of people just be trying to stay away from crypto. Like they know you crypto, be like, hmm, good luck, brother. <laughs> and they will spin off. Like they don't even really want to be seen talking to you and stuff like that. So, but again, like I said, adolescence is a little different. When you when you got to adults, it was it was a whole different ball game. And when you get to state prison, it's a whole different ball game. So, you know, people was always getting cut, especially like upstate. They was always getting cut. They was always going through it. Um, sometimes the homeboys, like I used to be in certain, like when I was in the jail, I was in like, I remember like sometimes people used to pull up and they used to be like, I mean, one time I didn't know if this dude was still crip or not. Cause on the Rikers Island, he was crip. And then when, you know, some, cause I know sometimes people get upstate and they switch up. So when I seen son, he was like, yo, what up? He was like, oh, it's good. So I'm like, oh, it's good, bro. Like I ain't see you in a minute. Like how much time they gave you? Whatever, whatever. So we, we chopping it up. And then he like, he asked me, he like. I didn't know what type of time he was on, so I didn't really like say nothing. I didn't assume. So he was like, "Yo," he said, "Yo, where the where the lokes at?" <laughs> so I said, Shh, "The lokes." I said, "Listen, man, if there is any in here, they hide." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so I told him straight up. He was like, "Damn, it's like that." I said, "Yeah, bro, it's like that, bro." He was like, "Yo, I just came out the box." So I was like, "Word," I said, "Yo, just 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 be easy, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be on point, cause they're gonna try to rock you to sleep." So, you know, I, I was a person, like, I don't care, man. I don't got nothing to do with it. Like, I'm still putting you on. I'm like, yo, bro, like, just watch yourself, man. Like, and I, I ain't going to front. When I was in prison, I used to pray that none of my men from the town came there because I feel like I'm going to be compelled to, like, do Like, I can't see, like, my mans that I grew up my day ones, you know what I'm saying, get hurt, get harmed, and I'm just, like, minding my business or, like, staying away. I know I said you got to mind your business. But sometimes you got to know when to intervene. Like Sometimes you got to know when to get involved in certain situations. And, you know, of course, sometimes it's not worth it. But as a man, you know, it's certain morals, certain things you hold on to. Like, if I see my day once, it's going to be lit. Like, we going to get it in. Like, I mean, it might be stupid, but it's like, you know, sometimes you just, you just can't let. Come on, you can't switch up like that. Like, you know, but people do be switching up in prison a lot. So, and that be the thing. Sometimes dudes come in. Sometimes you might be cool with the blood in the town. Like, that's your man's. Y'all cool. You could have been breaking bread. But the moment you get to prison or jail, it's out the window. Like, it's like nobody cared. Like, somebody will be above you or higher ranking than you. And they would tell you, like, yo, like, you, you, can't, be, you can't be eating with this dude. Or you can't, you can't be fried or not. Like, they, they just... I mean, people will still talk. But then it's like, you can't live in the same house with them. You can't. Like, you know, they... They put so many stipulations on, on, on people's relationships and friendships, you know, so, and that's just a byproduct with like, you know, that's why it's so different in jail and, and in prison, banging, than banging in the street. So like in the street, you see people that be on some like, yo, we don't color bang. And this is why like, when I was in the gang and I was home and I used to hear about the jail stories, when my man first came home, he was like, nah, bro, ain't no squash or nothing. Like he was just saying like, you don't know how bloods act in jail, bro. So he was letting me know, like, it's so crazy in jail that, like, yo, bro, we're not squashing no beef with these dudes outside. So I didn't really understand why he was so like that. But he was like, yo, bro, when you go to jail, you outnumber, and they, they don't be trying to hear nothing, bro. They just be trying to wow. So that put a little ideology in our mindset, like, yo, we just got to, like, we know we might end up going to jail or prison, so we just got to put in pain. Like, you know, it was ignorant stuff. But that's how we kind of, like, fake rationalize it behind I'm back then. But, yeah, another thing upstate, like, when you go to the um to the box, you might be double bunk. So in the box, it's a lot of crips usually in the box when you go to state prison. So in the box might be a time when crips could actually get a little get back, you know, because now it's a one on one situation. Like if you get double bunk, you might get double bunk with a crip most likely because a lot of them be in the box. They be you know they be getting it in like. They don't wait till like they get cut. Like you know, you get to a spot, you already know, you already know what's well, like the first time you get upstate. I mean, before you even get upstate, people, all the crips already land you know in Rikers Island if they've been upstate, or you already heard the story, so people are putting you on. So when you get up there, you already know you gotta you gotta shake out. You know, dumb crips they they be trying to think like I'm just gonna stay here, I'm just gonna chill, I'm just gonna kick my feet up. <laughs> I'm just going to relax. Or some of them even try to say, I'm not a crip no more. Or you was just crip last week in intake, you know. But, you know, so it's it's just a different environment. It's, it's a different situation. And so it'd be a lot of people in the box. So in the box might be the time where you might get a little one-on-one -on -one because you might be double bunk with a crip. So now it could be some time where, like, the crips might get a little get back. But other than that, 
you know, you just gotta, you just gotta know the, you just gotta know the streets, man. It's the same thing. The jails like, like fake, like the streets. It's just a little different. But if you know how to move in the street, you gonna know how to move. You know, you, you you gotta learn quick. You gotta watch, learn quick, stick and move and maneuver. You know, but yeah, that's some of the things that like, you know, kind of like happens in there with like with like the lokes and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's like the politics about like what kind of like goes on in there, like. Some keep it official, some fold, and I also feel like if you folded in jail, you probably was gonna fold anyway. You know, like I, I feel like you was probably gonna fold anyway. You, you just didn't have like the situation come up in the street. A lot of dudes fold in the street anyway. A lot of dudes be wearing their crates, wearing their flag, and then they tuck them in on certain neighborhoods, or, or or they take them off. Like people do that in the street too. So I feel like. The official dudes that were official and on their stuff on the street, like a lot of times they do remain official. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes, but I, most of the time they do remain official. And then sometimes you have dudes that might not have been that crazy in the street and in jail they just become a different beast. So it changes, but nevertheless, the situation is still the Crips be our number in jail and in the streets. And, you know, because of jail politics, they kind of like be like fake isolated, you know, like because nobody want to get involved. Nobody want to be like potentially be protecting one and then get into like war with the bloods. And this is probably why people be turning Muslim because like the Muslims don't be scared to like go to war with the bloods. You know what I'm saying? Like they will try to prevent it and like try to like see if, how they could do about it. But they will go to war with the bloods like they they don't care. Like they will try to hash it out because they, you know, they try to maintain the peace. But like they will like if if it gets to that like they they're not scared to go to war. You know what I'm saying with the Bloods. Even though the Bloods might be a little bigger, they're not scared. You know, and you know again it's a religious organization, and you know they 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 have certain beliefs that will keep them grounded and steadfast into like you know what I'm saying. And if they got if they feel like they gotta like shed some blood to protect their brother, they will do that. And like I said, it's a lot of you know, older brothers that are devoted to this. So it's a, Muslims is the most organized organization in prison. You know, they get to move around. They get to congregate without the guards coming. Like, for example, you can't go to the yard and fraternize. Like, you can't be, like, where I was at, it was only six per group. So you can't be in a bigger group. It had to be just six of y'all. So, and, you know, the Muslims, you couldn't do that in the yard, but we still able to go to class. We still able to do different things. So, yeah, so that's one of the things that makes them the most powerful group in kind of like prison. But, you know, that's just the story about the politics. It's not really a story, but, you know, I'm just sharing some of the stuff that goes on in jail and prison when it comes to with the Lokes. So let me know what y'all think, man. Like, like, comment, subscribe, share, or just, you know, tell me some of your thoughts in the comment section. But till next time, peace.